yung binasa natin kanina has an amazing, amazing story. I was again reading it this morning in the book of Esther. Okay, let me take you back there in the book of Ex uh, es Esther. Okay, yung Esther ay pagkatapos ng aklat ng uh, Nehemiah. Let me tell you yung background story dito, okay? At this time, Israel is still under captivity, okay? Pero nagpalit na ang empire dito. Naintindihan nyo? So, ang nangyari, mga kapatid, let me just take you back in a history that uh, Israel really violated the laws or the commandments of God and they, they needed to pay the price and and uh, they had been warned that they are going to this kind of excuse me captive captivity and uh, so it happened it actually happened nangyari uh, ang unang sumakop sa kanila is the Babylonian uh, Empire this was head by King Nebuchadnezzar you understand so they were under King Nebuchadnezzar at, at nandoon yung famous story about Daniel, Shadrach and Meshach that was the time of King Nebuchadnezzar alright tapos you know uh, uh, ang pumalit na hari ay yung kanyang anak <coughs> okay kaya lang um, marami rin kalukuhan and you know it was prophesied also that yung empire nila babagsak Nakuha niyo mga kapatid? Buhay pa ba kayo? So dito, sa time na ito, in the time of Esther, we were already under the uh, uh, Persian Empire. Nasa Persian Empire na po. And you just look at what the Bible says here. Yung binasa natin. At kanina, yung awitin. They were in the Persian Empire. And uh, what happened was, ang hari at that time na I see si King Ahasuerus. I don't, I don't really know if I'm pronouncing his name right. But it's the King Ahasuerus. Now listen to me carefully. And you listen well. Okay? Hagin niya yung title doon. Si so King Ahasuerus na. Ang ano, ang, uh, ang uh, hari dito. Well, King Ahasuerus, meron siyang asawa. Si Vashti. Si Queen Vashti. Okay. And nagkaroon sila ng, ano, ng uh, party. Kasama niya yung kanyang mga kaibigan. You listening? Are you with me? Tapos, eh, eh, maganda si Vashti. I'm assuming maganda siya. Sabi nila, pag sa, sa, ano, sayaw yung asawa mo. You know, eh, Pina, gustong ipagmalaki ni hari yung kanyang asawa sa kanyang mga kaibigan at magsayaw-sayaw doon sa harap nila and Vashti refused okay makinig kayong maigi Vashti did lose her position but I do believe Vashti is still dead right okay because she did not need to follow that because that is an ungodly thing na gustong ipagawa biloy mo magsayaw-sayaw ka doon sa harap ng mga Ibang mga lalaki, I don't even know why I have sirs made that request. Right? Buti sana kung dalawa lang sila. Tama? Okay, kaya lang. May mga ibang na ano doon. So anyway, what happened was, dahil nangyari yan, gusto ni I have sirs palitan ng, ano, palitan ng uh, queen. So if you read that story, sabi nung mga advisor niya, sabi, alam mo, uh, king, uh, si Vashti, pag di mo tinanggal yan, lahat na dito ng mga asawa namin, lahat in the kingdom, uh, hindi na yan susunod. May point nga naman sila doon na they, if, they, if, if the queen disobeyed you and there's no consequences, everybody else will disobey you too. And we'll, uh, all of our wives will also disobey us. They will not follow what we say. They will not follow our word. So anyway, madalit salita, uh, nag naman to si king, so tinanggal, tinanggal siya sa kanyang pagka-queen and they went to look for a queen. Here comes Esther. Si Esther ang nagustuhan ni King Ahasuerus. You understand? In Esther, Esther, si Esther 
meron siyang uh, si Esther, mga kapatid, ay isang Hudyo. Hindi siya Persian, but he's a Jewish lady. You got it? And she's a godly lady. Now listen carefully. So, she was chosen to be the queen. Well, itong si, ano, itong si Esther, meron siyang tiyuhin, meron siyang uncle. Ang pangalan niya ay si Mordecai. Okay? Si Mordecai, mga kapatid, isa siyang, because he always sits at the king's gate. Okay? So, I'm assuming, I'm assuming dun siya. He's a gatekeeper or security guard siya. Okay? Security siya sa gate ng hari. You understand? Kaya bago ka makapasok muna doon sa hari, makinig kayo maigi, ay ikaw ay uh, uh, ikaw ay uh, anong tawag nun? Ikaw ay dadaan muna sa kanya. Alright? Well, ito nangyari. Merong dalawang guard. Okay? If you read the Bible, there's also two guards and their names actually is mentioned in the Bible also, itong dalawa. They sought a plot to kill the king. Okay? Nagplano sila, napapatayin nila si King Ahiseros. Inside job. You understand? Okay? Ano ba yung tawag doon? Uh, I mean, has fallen. They want to, ano yun? Olympus had fallen. Gusto nilang, ano, anyway, di nyo alam yun eh. But gusto nilang i-ano yung, ano, yung uh, papagsakin itong si King. They will do an inside job. Itong dalawang, Uh, tao na ito eh. they're actually also a uh, guard katulad ni ano ni ni Mordecai eh nalaman ni Mordecai mga kapatid so more si Mordecai nasira niya yung plano nila you understand hindi tuloy na matay si king yung dalawang yun na aresto and you know sila ang nagdusa sila ang pinatay sila ang uh, uh, they're, they're the one who ended up get na ngayon eh, syempre naligtas na yung buhay ni king Ahasuerus di ba Are you listening? And if you read the Bible carefully of what was happening, lalo na dun sa chapter number 2, you will see that dito, mga kapatid, uh, hindi na-rewardan si Mordecai. Hindi rin, parang siguro nawala na sa isip ni King Ahasuerus dahil uh, ang kanyang concern, I mean, buti na, naligtas ako, di ba? Naligtas ako. But the Bible said nothing was done for Mordecai. Okay. Eh, merong itong si King, meron siyang parang Prime Minister, ang pangalan niya, Heyman. You understand? Si Heyman, mapagmalaking taong to, he is very proud. Heyman is a proud man. Are you with me? In fact, sot-sot nga niya yung, ano, yung sing-sing pa ng hari, and he does all of that. Now, he is a proud man, parang siya ang Prime Minister doon sa lugar na yon. And uh, dahil siya ay proud, gusto niya lahat ng mga tao nagbabow down sa kanya. At sinasabi pa niya that utos ito ng hari. Nakuha niyo? Are you with me? Eh so lahat nagbabow down, nag, nag lumuluhod. Pag, pagka yan dumarating siya, lumuluhod. Pero meron nga ayaw lumuhod. Okay? Isang mananampalataya. Isang man of God. Ang pangalan niya si Mordecai. Ayaw niyang lumuhod. Naintindihan niyo? Ayaw niyang mag-bow down kasi hindi yan naniniwala sa idolatry. Hello? Alright, so binalita sa kanya. Sabi, mayroong isa doon. Oh, he's a Jew. And his name is Haman. And itong si Haman na ito, ay uh, uh, hindi yan. He doesn't even bow down. He doesn't, he doesn't disobey you. Ganon, ganon. Oh, ganon. Totoo. But anyway, makinig kayong maigi. And you listen. Dumaan siya, mga kapatid, at sinabi na niya, nagkaroon na siya ng galit sa, sa uh, madalit salita in, in, in that, let me fast forward that story. Nagkalit ito si, Morde, si, ano, si Heyman. Dahil ayaw mag-bow down ni Mordecai. Dahil siya ay Hudyo. You understand? So, pumunta siya doon sa, ano, doon sa, doon sa hari. Eh, syempre, pag pupunta ka sa hari, makikita mo doon si, ano, di ba? Makikita mo doon si Mordecai, di ba? Eh, hindi talaga mag-bow down si Mordecai sa kanya. So, pinabayaan niya muna. Tapos, may sinabi siya doon sa hari na, uh, you know, merong mga tao, may mga klasing tao dito sa lupang ito na hindi sila susunod sa iyo. Yung sinabing ganyan. At dapat sa mga yun, patayin silang lahat. Nakikinig po ba? Okay, and that is the, the Jewish people. Patayin silang lahat, sabi niya, dahil ito ay hindi sumusunod at you know what, payayamanin kita 
at yung mga tao, you know, I mean, uh, everyone will be killed, okay? Eh, pumayag to si Harry kasi hindi niya alam, eh, malaki ang tiwala niya kay Heyman. Naintindihan niyo? Laki ng tiwala niya kay Heyman. Tapos sabi niya, kaya mo, oh, sige, so isinayin pa doon sa singsing para uh, mainano yung decree at merong time na papatayin lahat nila ang mga Hudyo. Nakikinig po ba kayo? Nakita ninyo sa lugar na yon nung, nung nai, nailagay na yung decree na lahat ng mga hudyong ito ay mamamatay, papatayin silang lahat. You know, makita nyo, ang saya pa ni Heyman dahil nakuha na niya yung decree, inuminom pa nga siya eh. Lasing-lasing pa nga eh. Okay, but that town was mourning at that time. Siyempre, papatayin na mga hudyo, di ba? Nakikinig po ba kayo? So, nabahala silang ganyan. Ito ngayon si Mordecai, sabi niya, sandali, sandali. Meron at paraan. Let's see kung pwede ito. Are you listening? Andiyan pa ba kayo? So ito ngayon ay kinausap niya, mga kapatid, si Esther. Okay? Sinabi niya, there is somebody plotting to kill all the Jewish. At ano yan? Ikaw yan. Ikaw, mamamatay ka. Ako lahat. Kasi lahat tayo hudyo eh. Okay? So ganitong dapat mong gawin. Pakiusapan mo ang hari. Sabihin mo sa kanya. Okay, you need to go to the king. Eh pero, makinig kayong maigi, kung wala kang appointment sa king at kung hindi ka pinapatawag ng king at nagpunta ka lang doon without his invitation, you can get killed. Even if you're the queen. Ganun katahit ng security, yun ang katakaran nila. Naintindihan nyo? Mga kapatid? So, you know, so, kunento and the famous saying, sabi ni, ano, ni Esther, sabi niya, o oh, sige, uh, gagawin ko ito, pumayag siya, nakausapin niya yung hari, pero itong gawin nyo, tat for three days, mag-fasting kayong lahat. After that, I'm going to talk to the uh, king and if I perish, I perish, pero susubukan ko pa rin ito. When that is a good statement. Amen? I'm going to save my people. If I perish, I perish. You listening? Andiyan pa kayo, mga kapatid? So, ganito nangyari. After that fasting day, nag-show up ngayon to si Esther to request na magkaroon ng banquet. Okay? Naintindihan niyo? Pero bago yung banquet na yon, you listen carefully na at sabi niya sana ipatawag ninyo si ano si uh, uh, so nagpunta ngayon siya doon and, and and good thing na itong si King, she he really likes Esther. Gustong-gusto niya si Esther. At sabi niya Esther, you know, ano ba ang ano ano na and he requested a bank a banquet magbanquet sila you understand okay na i-invite sila tapos na ganun listen tapos na ganyan and I was reading it this morning tapos sabi niya meron akong gustong sabihin sa iyo and let me just request to you right now to have a banquet kain magkaroon pero ang iimbitahan mo lang si Heyman Naintindihan niyo yon mga kapatid Buhay pa ba kayo But anyway, some night came na hindi makatulog itong si uh, King Ahasuerus. Hindi siya makatulog. Tapos, eh, makita niya na nabagabag siya. Tapos, sabi niya doon sa mga yung mga, na, sa mga tao sa paligid niya, his security and all of that, sabi niya, King, ay, sabi niya, naalala, naalala niya yung nagligtas sa kanya. Naalala na niya yung nagligtas sa kanya. By the way, makinig kayo maigi, And I'm going to say this, even if you don't think nothing is working, you still need to do right and be faithful to God. Right? Whether you see the reward or you don't see the reward, whether you nagkaroon ng bunga yung ginawa mo, you still keep doing right. Haman was never recognized at first. But he still did right by not bowing down to that person. He, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mordecai still did right. But he did that which is right from and not bowing to Mordecai. He was faithful. Let me read to you a scripture before I go on kasi nakalimutan ko. In 1 Corinthians 4.2, the Bible said, Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. We're supposed to be faithful. And here is a picture of faithfulness kay Mordecai. He's going to do right. He's going to live right. He is going, ang gagawin niya, gagawa siya ng tama. Kahit na anong mangyari, tama pa rin ang kanyang gagawin. Okay? Well, finally, nagkaroon ng bunga yung kanyang 
ginawa na pagligtas sa hari. Sabi ng haring ganyan, ano ba ang ano? Ano ba ang ginawa natin? Sinabi niya sa mga counselors niya. Ano ba ang ginawa natin doon sa tao na nagligtas sa akin? Sino nga pala yun? He said, Mordecai, one of the six, he sits by, your, by the gate of your gate. He said, did we do anything from him? May ginawa na ba, na, may ginawa na ba tayo para sa kanya? Naintindihan niyo, mga kapatid? Ha? Tapos sabi niya, wala pa. Okay, sige, sino yung dumarating? Eksakto, dumadating ngayon si ano, may parating. Alam niyo kung sinong parating? Si Heyman. Naintindihan niyo? Parating si Heyman doon sa gate, nakita niya si Mordecai. Si Mordecai, hindi nag-bow down. Galit na galit si Heyman. Galit na galit siya. Gusto niya patayin na niya. Naintindihan niyo? At bago siya pumasok, na yung managutos muna siya. Kasi siya ang parang prime minister, eh. nagutos siya. Sabi niya, magpagawa na kayo ng, ano, ng bit ng, ano, ng galo, yung pugutan ng ulo, ganito kataas ha. Right? Are you listening? Yung, hindi, yung, ano, yung bitayan, bitayan pala, hindi, ano, bitayan. Ganito ka taas, ibibitay natin yan. Paglabas ko, bibitay natin. Ito ang tama, pasok si Heyman. Ang yabang eh, gusto lagi na re-recognize eh. You got it? Sabi, sabi, ni, sabi ni King kay Heyman, ano ang dapat nating gawin to that person na, na natutuwa ang hari sa kanya? Okay? That the, har, that the king find you know, you know, na favor, favors this person, pinifavor ng hari, akala niya siya. Ang yabang eh, di ba? Sabi niya, ganito gawin mo. Ay, akala niya siya. You put a royal robe, di ba? Lagyan mo ng robe. Hey, are you still there? Pasakay mo sa kabayo ng hari. Di ba? Tapos, lagyan mo ng mga ano, basta, tapos, iparada doon sa city at sabihin, that this is what happened when the kings favors you. You understand? Sabi ni king, wow, ang ganda ng idea mo, hey man ha. Eh, syempre, sabi niya, ang yabang niya eh. Sabi niya, ready na siya eh. Okay, ready, ready na. Tapos mamaya sabi, oh sige, nandun si Mordecai, gawin mo kay Mordecai yun. Naintindihan niyo? Matibig ka nalungkot, pero mo, pumasok siya doon, expected niya. Siya nga, ano eh, na, ano, nagpaga, nagpahanda pa nga ng ano eh, ng bitayan eh. Dahil pagkatapos nung, bibitay na niya si, ano, bibitay na niya si, uh, uh, si Mora eh. Wala, yun na, in, ginawa niya yung inutos nung ano, inutos nung ano. Inutos ni, ano, bilo mo, papaparada siya. This is, sabi niya, ikaw gumawa no na. Oh, this is what happened when the kings favor you. Linalakad niya si, ano, si, si Mordecai sa city nila. Tapos, umiyak siya sa kanyang asawa. Naintindihan niyo? Okay? At makinig kayo maigi. So now, the banquet is about to start. Pumunta na ngayon ulit to si, ano, si, si Mordecai at nandun si Queen sa banquet, dun sa kainan nila. Andun siya. So, alam mo, nagmayabang pa nga siya nung una eh. Sabi, alam mo, pinapatawag ako ni King. Kami lang, oh. Wala nang iba. Are you listening? Feeling special talaga. Alright? Ang yabang. Tignan mo, hari, nagpapatawag sa akin. Di ba? Hello? Napatawag ako, siga. Pero dito, alam mo, pinapatawag ka ni pastor. Lahat sasabihin, naku, ano, ano ba nagawa ko? Ano ba nagawa ko? <laughs> Kinakabahan na yan. Pagka may nagsabi, pinapatawag ka ni pastor sa office. Sasabihin na lang, mga, ano, ano ba nagawa ko? Ano ba nag... Pero ito yabang eh. Nagmalaki pa siya. Hindi niya alam, marireveal na ang kalokohan niya. Makinig kayong maigi. You keep doing right and keep doing right and you stay faithful in doing right and keep doing right and God will always seek vengeance for you. You don't seek vengeance to somebody else and this is what happened now. Nadalit salita, nandun na sila tapos nagbatihan. Okay, tapos sinabi na ni Queen Esther, alam mo, may merong isang tao na nagplat na papatayin ang mga Hudyo. At alam mo naman, Hudyo ko. You listening? Tapos sabi ni King, sino yun? Yan, si Heman. Galit si Hari. Nakita na ni Heman, nagalit na galit si King Ahisero sa kanya. You with me? 
By the way, tinanggal yung kanyang pagka-prime minister, tinanggal yung singsing sa kanya. Alam mo kung kaninong binigay? Kay Mordecai. Now he runs that place. And then, ang nung sabi, anong sabi, mga kapatid, makinig kayo maigi, ni Harry, sabi niya, okay, kahit nalaman nila na may pinagawa, okay, ikaw, ikaw ang bibitayin. Si Mordecai ang nabitay. Ay, si Haman ang nabitay sa pinagawa niyang bitay para kay Mordecai. Now, you listen to me carefully. There's a statement na sinabi ni Mordecai kay Esther. Sabi niya, siguro kaya ka ginawa na queen for such a time as this. You understand me? Makinig kayong maigi and you listen to me very carefully. Sa ating buhay, God always has a purpose for everybody. But you need to be faithful for such a time as this. Who knows? You are here for such a time as this. You just don't know. Let me give you two principles we should live by with this thought, such a time as this. Number one, God gave every person something he is supposed to do in life for him. In other words, God has a will or a main purpose for your life. You got that? Now, second, God has for each one of us a such a time as this. Okay? Now, ang purpose ba? Bakit, pinay, bakit si Esther ang naging queen? Para mailigtas niya ang Hudyo? Perhaps, but God, listen to me carefully, siguro, but you listen to me, sa langit lang natin yan malalaman. However, ginamit siya ng Panginoon para iligtas ang mga Hudyo for such a time as this. That is why you need to be faithful. Buti na lang itong si Esther na habang dalaga siya, hindi niya binigay ang kanyang sarili kahit kanino. She waited for that right person. Are you listening? Otherwise, the king will not even take her. Otherwise, the king will not even consider her to be the queen. But the Bible tells us that the king was so pleased with Esther, listen, that she loved, I mean, she really liked the girl, made her queen instead of Vashti. She find favor in the sight of a king. Nakikinig po ba kayo, mga kapatid? Dapat ganyan ang buhay natin lagi that we find favor in the sight of our king. Hello? Naintindihan nyo? Now, listen to me carefully. God has, God has a plan for you. He has a main purpose. He has a ministry, a life's work. Okay? Makinig kayong maigi. Sa akin, God brought me here to the Baguio. But listen, whatever it is, ay papagawa ng Panginoon, and I'll make this third statement here na mamaya na sasabihin ko sa inyo, ang require niya sa ating lahat, kung ano ang ginagawa natin para sa kanya ngayon, you need to remain faithful. Naririwardan ka, hindi ka naririwardan, just stay faithful. Because God, makinig kayo may gay, God is not unjust anyway. He is going to reward those people one day. Kung hindi man dito sa lupa, mas maganda sa langit, mga kapatid. Amen? Now, you listen carefully. Esther's purpose in life was to save the Jews. That's what her, her purpose in life. Alam na natin yun sapagkat nakita na natin sa Bible. Nakikinig po ba, mga kapatid? That was her purpose in life. Now, listen. Esther was able to do that purpose in life because she is faithful in doing what she is supposed to do. Kaya nagawa niya yun because she was faithful. Are you with me? Hello? Faithful siya, hindi siya rebelde, hindi siya, you know, hindi siya, ano, yung, uh, 
uh, maayos na babae ito, maayos siya na dalagita nung siya pa ay dalaga, and she did whatever she needed to do for her parents, she did whatever she needed to do para sa kanyang mga kamag-anak, and she was busy working, by the way. Are you with me? She was busy doing whatever she needs to do, and she was faithful. Uy, buhay pa kayo? By the way, yan ang dapat nating ilagay sa ating isipan ngayon. Ang require ng Diyos para ikaw makapaglingkod sa Kanya is faithfulness. God does not require you to be brilliant but faithful. God does not require you to be intelligent but faithful. God does not require you to be articulate but faithful. God does not require you to be literate but faithful. God does not require you to be handsome <clears throat> but faithful. Hello? God does not require you to be eloquent, but faithful. Are you with me? Andiyan pa ba kayo, mga kapatid? Okay? And let me say this. First statement here again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I believe that each one of us has one big time in life to accomplish something big. In the case of Esther, that was the big thing. Okay? Naintindihan nyo? Sa atin lahat, mga kapatid, meron ipapagawa sa atin ng Panginoon na malaki, na bagay. Kaya dapat manatili tayo ngayon kung ano man ang ginagawa natin ngayon. Lalo tayong manatiling faithful sa ginagawa nating ministry. Hello, you got the ministry of serving. Like yan, pag, pag-aayos ng ano, pag, uh, ano yan, yung pag-aayos uh, ng, ng CR. That's a ministry of serving. Are you with me? Nagaano ng pagkain, all of those ministries. You have to be faithful. Kayo mga teachers, be faithful. Whatever you're doing, be faithful. Hello? Be faithful sa ginagawa mo. You be faithful. Pati yan sa pagbibigay mo ng commitment mo. Be faithful, be faithful, be faithful. Hey, that's what you need to do. Be faithful. Because one day, God is going to allow you to do that that which is big for him if you are faithful. Pero maraming mga mananampalataya, they missed out on it because they're not faithful. Okay? Pangalawa, I also believe that God does this so we will accomplish our life's purpose. Okay? If there is something or somewhere in life and I don't know what it is, that is the big super accomplishment or contribution that I am supposed to do in life in my generation mga kinig kayong maigi hindi ko, hindi ko alam yon. pero kailangan kong laging maging faithful sa ministry na binigay sa akin ng Diyos nakuha nyo? are you listening? now, let me make this third statement we'll get right to uh, preaching over here I do not know when and where the opportunity will come, so I must be faithful serving. So, hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam kailan, hindi ko alam saan, pero kailangan akong manatiling faithful. Do you understand? Makinig kayo maigi. I do not know where it is or what it is, so that means I must always be faithful to the lifetime ministry God has given me. In order for me to accomplish that such a time, in order for me to accomplish that such a time as this, I have to be faithful. Naintindihan nyo? That's why, sinasabi ko lagi sa inyo, mga kapatid, keep being faithful. Keep winning soul, whether you think there's a result or not. Di ba? Patuloy ka pa rin. Whether you think that there's a result, whether you think na merong ano, na merong uh, katingin eh, kala pinagagalitan ko eh. Hi. Alright. Let's keep going. <laughs> Nag-iba yung mukha eh, gumaganyan eh. Oh. Alright. But, listen very carefully now. Makinig kayong maigi. So, hindi ko alam kung saang time na yon. Pero itong sabihin ko sa inyo, mga kapatid, God is going to use you and He's going to use me if we stay faithful. Are you with me? 
That is why it is important that you stay faithful in your ministry for such a time as this. Number four. Okay? Ito sabihin ko ulit. I believe we do not know what that big accomplishment is until we get to heaven. Hindi talaga natin alam yan. Okay? Naintindihan nyo? Ipapakita na lang sa atin ng Panginoon kung alin yun. Sa akin, makinig kayo maigi. I do not know if what God allowed me to do is during that pandemic where we were able to feed, listen to me carefully, where we were able to feed more than 4,000 people. Maybe that is. Maybe it's not. But somehow, that's still a big accomplishment. Kung meron pang bas malaki doon, kailangan kong maging faithful. One day, malalaman ko yun sa langit. At ang ginagamit ng Diyos, mga kapatid, hindi yung guapo, hindi yung, hindi yung uh, napaka-brilliant, ang ginagamit ng Diyos, yung napaka-faithful. And God's going to give you all the ability that you need to accomplish that which is big, okay, as long as you are always faithful because the opportunity is going to come. Amen? It's going to happen. It's going to come. Darating yung opportunity at na yan. At napaka-importante na kailangan mo na ikaw ay nananatili na faithful lagi. Whatever you do, you still remain faithful for God. Now listen to me carefully. And listen well. So, I make this statement. So, I must always be doing His will and purpose. So, I will not miss that one big thing I was meant to do. Amen? Now, let me tell you, some of this, these people right now, that they did something big, at alam na natin na yun ang purpose sa kanilang buhay ng Panginoon. Such a time as this. Let me just tell you, mga kapatid, do you think that woman that gave the two mites, do you think that's his first time to give? Sa palagay nyo, yun ang first time na siya ang magbigay, na ibigay niya lahat? I don't think that was her first time. I think every time there's a gathering, she would come to the altar and give her offering. And I believe with all of my heart that she would give everything. I mean, lagi siya nagbibigay, mga kapatid. Naintindihan nyo? Ah, faithful siya sa kanyang commitment. Faithful siya sa kanyang ginagawa. Faithful siya sa kanyang pagbibigay. Faithful siya, listen to me carefully, sa kanyang mga, uh, sa, sa lahat ng mga pagbibigay. Look, she was faithful. So listen to me, one day, Jesus Christ is standing there watching everybody who is giving and that such a time as this came and that woman dropped everything she had, the two mites, and Jesus complimented her and, she's, and Jesus said, she gave more than anybody because she gave everything she's got. Ngayon, yung life testimony niya nagagamit throughout all these thousands years already when we talk about somebody who is faithful in giving. Amen, mga kapatid? Buhay pa ba kayo? Kaya napaka-importante, you have to be faithful. Listen to me carefully. Barzillai, who was 80 years old when King David and his men fled to Jerusalem. He fed him. He was faithful in feeding people. Then one day, he fed the king that gave strength and won the battle. Itong si Barzillai, mga kapatid, mahilig yan. Nagpapakain. Lagi niyang pinapakain si David. Yun ang ministry niya. Naintindihan niyo? Well, one time, nagrebelde yung anak ni David and he was about to get the kingdom. And David went by again. And David, listen, mahina na si David. Are you listening? Hey, folks, are you listening? And Barzillai was there to feed this king again so he can gain his strength back. And because of it, Israel was saved because David the king na survived niya yung battle na yun. Why? Because of a faithful Barzillai. What happened? such a time as this. Are you listening? Makinig kayong maigi. How about that little maid? How about that little maid doon sa, uh, you know, an Israelite woman, Dalagita, kinuha ni Naaman as a slave. She was taken by her parents. She was taken from her home. And she was brought there so she can be a slave. She was brought there to save. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry. She was brought there to serve the wife of, 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 of ano, uh, si Naaman. Are you listening? 
And guess what? Was she a rebel? No, she was faithful. She was faithful doing her job. She was faithful doing whatever she needs to do in spite of her situation. Can you imagine that? You imagine that right now. It was this guy who took you away from your parents. It was this guy who took you away from your home. It was this guy who took you away from your friends. It was this guy who took you away from your school. It was this guy who took away from your church and he brought you there to, for you to become a slave. Diba? And wala man siyang pangalan. She is just called the little maid. Dalagita. Naintindihan nyo? Little maid. Kasi hindi matangkat. Little eh. Pero she was faithful. Right? She was faithful to serving Naaman's wife. May you imagine that? She's still serving that person, the, the wife of the person who took her from her parents? Pero wala siya magagawa doon eh. Because they were under bondage. They were under captivity. And, and you know, she has to live with it. You can rebel in that situation and die or be faithful and be a good testimony. You listening? So she was faithful. Ano nangyari? Itong si Neyman, nagkaroon ng ketong. Alam niyo kung sino nagligtas sa kanya? Kung sino nagsabi kung anong gagawin niya? Makinig kayong maigi. The little maid for such a time as this. You understand? I do believe with all of my heart that the little boy was taught by her parents to be a giver. Na bata pa lang, that little boy, you know, na mag-share ka, ha? kasi mahirap talaga ang bata, mga kapatid, mahirap ang bata na mag-share, lalo na kung pagkain niya. Am I right? Okay? So, I'm sure na, na tinuturuan na yan ng magulang niya na mag-share siya. Are you with me? Hello? So there it is, mga kapatid. I'm sure she's been sharing to her, to his friends. I'm sure mahilig siyang mag-share kung may anong meron siya. Binabahagi niya. Listen, hey, listen. Binabahagi niya sa mga tao. Binabahagi niya sa kanyang mga kaibigan. Eh, nagkaroon ng ano, ng, uh, duma, nandun ang Panginoong Isokristo. May baon siya. Right? Buhay pa ba kayo? Five na, na tinapay, tapos dalawang, ano, dalawang small fish. Are you with me? Hindi ko alam kung bangus yun. Baka tilapia na maliit. Baka toyo. I don't know. But anyway, small fish eh. Tapos, nangailangan. Sabi nung ano, Panginoon eh, he was preaching. Eh, ang laki ng crowd. Eh, yung crowd na yun, gutom na sila. Tapos paupit, ha? sabi nung ano, saan Panginoon, may pagkain ba tayo dito? Pakainin natin itong mga to. Sabi na, ano, walang pagkain, pero meron ito. There's a lad here. She... Biruin mo yon Limang, look, ang nabilang nila, limang kalalakihan. Di na nila nabilang yung babae, tsaka yung mga bata. Paano nahalata yung lad? I'm sure the lad volunteered. How could you... Ano yun? Meron siya lang ang may pagkain, tapos tumingin yung mga disipulo. Ayun o, oh, may lad oh. No, I'm sure that, uh, sa, sabi nung lad, you know, this is all I've got, but I'll be the first one to share it. Diba? Bira yung utak nyo, yung utak niyang ganun na papakainin mo more than 5,000 people. Pero sabi niya, you know what? I-share ko na lang ito. Wow, what an amazing young man. What an amazing little boy. He went to one of the disciples sa ito na, oh, tapos sabi nung, ng, 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 ano, ng disciple sa kanya, meron dito, limang tinapay, tapos dalawang maliliit na, na apoy. There's a lad here, and look, he has, he has, he has food, but anong papakainin na ito? Di ba? Makinig kayo maigi. I'm sure that young boy knows how to give and he was faithful in his giving. Then one day, out of his food, the food that he shared, kaya nga importante, i-share nyo muna yung meron kayo. Kaya nga lagi kong sinasabi, yung mga commitment nyo. Di ba, sabi ko, you make a real commitment, yung realistic na commitment. Di ba? Ha? Ibigay nyo yan sa Panginoon. 
you give it and you be faithful in giving that whether there's a reward or there's no reward because for such a time as this napakain limang libong ta limang libong kalalakihan plus children God worked a miracle with two fishes and five bread pandesal yata yun eh Nandiyan pa ba kayo? Huwag niyong sabihin, ano ba magagawa ng 50 pesos na commitment ko? Malaking magagawa niya as long as you're faithful to Him. Ano ba magagawa ko? Ba't ako kailangan maging faithful? You keep being faithful, folks. You stay faithful. Sunday school teacher, you stay faithful. Doctrine class teacher, you stay faithful. Preachers, you stay faithful. No matter what happened, you stay faithful. Naintindihan niyo? Look, Gawin nyo ito. Do not make deals with God. You stay faithful. God knows what He's doing. And before ever that happened to you, He knew it's going to happen to you in God's dear name. Stay faithful to God because for such a time as this. Stay faithful. Don't quit. Don't give up. Naintindihan nyo ba? Hello? You say, preacher? Paano yan? Nag-quit na ako. Ano pang pwede kong gawin? Those of you watching right now, and I know some of you, kayo mga nag-backslide, you're probably in your, nahihiya-hiya kayo. What can I do? You confess your sins, you be faithful, and be faithful, and you will see that God can still use you until today. Kaya ka, sige ba nagsabi, hindi ka kaya gamitin ng Diyos? Na makinig kayo maigi. Tatay Tablak, hindi ko alam yung pandemic kung yun yung for such a time as this ko. Sa langit ko na lang malalaman yun. However, I thank God ginamit niya ako. You understand? What happened in 2014 kung nag-quit ako? Mulang pastor na nag encourage sa akin halos wala because they cannot encourage me anyway I had such a big battle na hindi ko na alam kung, and everybody wants me to quit people from America they want me to quit people here in Baguio they're telling me to quit naintindihan nyo? ha? gusto akong mag quit hindi ko na alam kung sino naniniwala sa akin at that time. I didn't even know if my dad believed me. I didn't even know if my sister believed me. My mom believed me. Tapos iniisip ko, ano? Okay, naniniwala kaya sila sa akin and I would cry myself to sleep every day. People around are gossiping. Even until today, they're gossiping. People got together They will do whatever they can to kick me out of here. And you know what else happened? Gusto sabihin sa inyo, mga kapatid, do you understand that a letter came still later in a testimony with, with this person's handwritten letter? At sinabi niya, yeah, kaya ako umalis dyan sa Pilipinas kasi inabuse niya ako, cheater yan, lahat. Tapos pinirmahan niya. That's what it says. Sinerox yung pinirmahan na yun. And one guy went all over sa mga Baptist church dito. Binibigay yung sulat na yun. Kaya ako tinanggal. Kaya daw tinanggal to si Caleb Malakai at yung si Chloe dahil doon. I'm an abuser. I'm a con artist. Are you listening? I'm a womanizer. Hello? Naintindihan nyo? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tempted murderer. Hello? Sinulat yan, mga kapatid. Tapos itong isang tao nagbahay-bahay. Binigay. Binigay pa nga sa mga may ibang mga membro eh. Dito eh. Na, bahay-bahay. Binibigay. And everybody believe. Tapos itong mga to, gusto akong sugudin. 
Nasabi nila, hindi na, kaya lang tayo hindi makasugod dahil na, dahil malakas siya kay ano, Pastor Benny. Mga ganun sila, oh. Malakas yan sa mga abante, kaya hindi makasugod. Bilawin mo yun, mga kapatid. Naintindihan nyo? Tapos pagdating ko sa Amerika, dami kong demanda. Tapos pagbalik ko dito, may demanda na naman ako. Hello? Anong gagawin ko? Alam ko kung bakit ako dinidemanda dito eh. Para matakot ako, umalis ako dito eh. Yun ang purpose eh. Dahil yung isa, yung nag, nagbigay ng sulat na ganyan, he vowed, he said, hindi ka magtatagal sa Baguio. That's what he said. So he got all these people together with him na makinig kayo maigi. And you listen and you listen to me well. I had a choice. I could quit. Or I, could, I, or I could keep being faithful. So I stayed faithful. I keep preaching. Sometimes I'd preach, tapos nakikita ko, naku, malis na naman si ganito, nakaka-discourage. Ito, malis na naman. Then our church began to plateau. Then, nawala tayo sa MCO. Ang ganda na na nung auditorium natin doon. Eh. No, maliit nga lang, pero maganda siya. Ganda. Mga ganito kalaki yun eh, pero maganda siya. And then things did not work out there. We had to move here. And when we move here, talaga naman itong lugar na to mga kapatid, hindi pwedeng tirahan. Kailan, linisang, we did whatever we can. Tapos alam mo pa, ang chismis doon, oh, they lost their building. Nakarating pa sa Amerika, they, we lost our building. Dahil hindi daw tayo makabayad. Okay? sila may utang <laughs> sila may utang they said we lost our building we actually choose to just get out para tapos na yung away-away di ba? iniisip ko maliit lang naman yung lugar na ito and God and I said you know what God you're going to bless us I know it so yun punta kami dito dito lang ang, yan lang ang auditorium nung, uh, nung una di ba? yan lang di ba? E, tapos dun sa baba ano na siya marami ng bun- Panoorin yung video yung sa building. Dami ng ganyan, mga uh, ano yun? Mga damo, okay, na nagsitaasan. Inano namin yung kinatkat. Dito kami nag, uh, ano, yung itsura niya, ganun pa rin. You know, parang, <laughs> you know, and people would come and I know what they would say. They would, some, some people would say, man, hindi na to pinagpapala. May curse na sa buhay. Dahil sa kanyang mga kasalanan. Wala pa tayong building nung araw, wala pa tayong covered court, nag-tent pa nga tayo eh. Yun ang ginagamit namin, yung tent, mainit, binabaha, ano pa, uh, na, pag, na, pag umulan, puno-puno ng tubig. Di ba, naalala nyo yun? Yeah. Linis dito, linis doon, baha doon, mag-anniversary nga tayo na yun, tapos katatapos ng ulan eh, pumasok ka itong, basa-basa pa yung floor eh, di ba? And people would even think, they would say, you know what, wala na to. And then, nagpagaw tayo ng basketball court. You know, criticize ulit. Wala na, basketball court lang meron niya mga yan. Ganun, ganun. That's okay. Then I would just come and I would hear this gossip and I'd go to the States and, and uh, I would hear everything. But here's what I did. I said, you know what, I'm going to be faithful. Number one, I'm going to be faithful to our church. Wala man bunga, we're going to keep faithful. We're going to be faithful. Soul winning tayo ng soul winning. Maraming naliligtas. Di ba? And maraming tumatanggap. We baptize. But then, seems like men, walang nananatili. Right? Didn't you even feel that time? And you even wanted to quit yourself. And some people quit and they laugh. Because they feel like, wala na itong church na ito. And how often I'd cry to God and I'd said, Lord, you gotta do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm here three months. I have to live three months. I gotta go. Dating ako sa Amerika. Pagdating ko doon sa Amerika, you know, hindi ako bibigyan ng oras sa ano. Talagang sisiraan ako ng sisiraan. Sabi ko, kahit na, sisiraan ako. Papakita ko pa rin sa mga, mga, mga anak ko na ito na kahit kailan, you know, na mali yung kinikwento sa kanila. So, you know, sige, anong gusto mo? Anak, oh, Lego. I'll give my Lego. You know, let's go biking. Let's go walking. Let's go do this. And they knew I keep going back to the state so I can spend time with them. Always. Kahit siraan ako. Sige lang. And I so finally, I got too tired. And I said, Lord, you gotta do something. Either I leave my boys alone because this is just getting too much on me. 
or I will stay in the Philippines or dito na lang ako sa Florida. Anyway, inofara naman ako ng pastorate doon. Naintindihan nyo? But the Lord just said, ito, nakita ko to for such a time as this. So you be faithful. So I begin to be faithful. Finally, in 2017, I was able to get these two boys back here sa Pilipinas. The people still gossiping. The people still saying na, you know, na ako ay playboy at bakla. May, may dagdag na. Playboy na, uh, bakla na ngayon. Lagi kong kasama yung pangit na yon. Tapos sabi na, ayan o, oh, yung lalaki niya o. Oh. Pero mo, yak! Okay? And, uh, but anyway, I'm thinking, man, ano ba na iisip na mato? Wala na bang magawa itong mga ito? Bakit lagi na lang nila akong sinisiraan? Ha? Huh? Tignan nyo, some of you here today, you tell somebody, that I don't even know that person. Ha? Huh? Tapos sabihin nyo, doon ako kay Pastor Froy. Baka, sab- baka maging negative sila sa inyo dahil gusto nila kayong kunin. Hey, by the way, let me just tell you, you never want to be with people like that. Di ba? Sinubukan yan kay Erwin this week. Hello? Are you listening? Tala, sisirain nila. Sisira nila ito. Pero makinig kayo maigi. We keep doing what we're doing. We keep having a big day. The next week, ito na, tapos, you know, we keep doing what we're doing, then all of a sudden, I, may magagalit, dahil nagaway, magagalit, o ayaw niya yung, ayaw niya yung ganito. Siguro sawa na rin sa mga That's why you never listen to gossips That's why you never listen to somebody I don't care if it's a pastor You don't listen to gossips You understand? Because it will pollute your mind So Malis And then man I was so discouraged I said okay well it doesn't matter And I said Lord you gotta do something Do something But we were faithful We were faithful Fast forward Nandito na yung sila Caleb Malakai. Fast forward. Listen to me carefully now. Now God gave me a lovely wife. Ngayon, fast forward na. Listen to me carefully. After 10 years, dinalaw ako ng pastor ko dito. He, he wanted to see if I can prove myself first. He wanted to see if I can stand. I didn't even know if I believe him. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even know if he believed me. So he came. Diba? Kita niya ang mga lugar natin. Hindi kayo mahigit. Nagkaroon ng pandemic. Did we quit? We stayed faithful. We keep moving forward. People begin to need help for food. And the Lord used your pastor to lead this church to give to more than 4,000 people up to date now for such a time as this. Amen. Wala tayong magandang building nung araw. Hanggang ngayon pa naman eh. Di ba? Yung kitchen natin, kung ano nung ginagawa ninyo, maging faithful lang kayo, aani rin kayo. Pagka malapit na matapos yan, may brand new kitchen kayo, mga nanay. So you stay faithful, doing whatever you need to do with that kitchen. Keep it clean. I don't know if you can, but try. <laughs> keep doing what you're supposed to do. Keep serving. Keep honoring God. Keep believing that God can use you again. Because makinig kayong maigi, there will come a time for such a time as this. Hindi ako nag invite ng mga pastor dito. Because I just did, I feel like, you know what? That's all right. And, and maraming, nag, maraming naniwala, nag-excommunicate, but I tried my, I tried something this week and I tried to get them to come here. Na hindi ko sila, I mean, I gave them a two days notice or one day notice to be here. Makinig kayo maigi. A lot of them, I don't even know who they are. Na hindi ko man kakilala ang karamihan sa kanila. And they were here. Naintindihan niyo, mga kapatid? Nung Friday, baba sila dyan. 
makita nila kung anong ginagawa ng Panginoon. Ta sabi nila, "Boy, ra pinagpala ka." Can I also tell you this? That some of those people who said na pinagpala ako, they were also saying, "God already cursed me. There's already ikabod in this place." The glory has departed. Whether you see result or not, you stay faithful because one day God is going to reward you. I don't know if that's the pandemic when God used me. But here's what I know. Papa salamat ako sapagkat ako ang ginamit ng Diyos sa bansang ito para makapagbigay ng mga Bibles. for such a time as this. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, ha, ano man ang problema mo ngayon, and whatever cause you to backslide, whatever it is, you say, Pastor, di mo alam, nangyari sa akin. I used to be in the choir, I used to do this, I used to go so winning. You know, but a family member, or kapatiran, or even a pastor offended you. Doesn't matter. Let, let, let me go further and say this. Even if your spouse betrayed you, I can say that to you right now. Dahil alam ko yung mga sakit na nangyari niyon. Especially, I am in the area of leadership. Especially, hindi ko naman gusto na maging sikat at hindi naman ako sikat ayaw ko naman na may nakakakilala sa akin I don't like that are you listening? pero makinig kayong maigi I bear that pain I know what time it is okay magalala okay you'll be back at 3 o'clock no 2.45 there's no lead you'll be back at 2.45 because I wanted to get this in your heart right now. You might be in the verge of quitting. Please don't quit for such a time as this. I'm in the verge of being depressed at that time. But I made it. And I'm thinking that pandemic came. And I'm here for such a time. You might be in the verge of quitting, or kaya ikaw naman ay hindi ka ma, hindi mo alam gagawin mo. Should I go or should I not? I know it's painful, lalo na if a loved one betrayed you. Very painful. Very, very pain. Hindi lang. Buti kung binitray ka eh, yung siniraan, siraan ka pa. Hanggang ngayon, sinisiraan ka pa. May dagdag naman ngayon. Alam niyo kung ano ngayon dagdag? Okay, ito oh. I'm a murderer. Ano pa yung sinabi? I'm a con artist. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm a womanizer. I'm a bakla. Now I am a rapist. Diba? May bago nga ngayon eh. I am a fallen man. But a just man fall at seven times and he rise it up again. Alam mo, ngayon, ang importante sa Diyos, hindi yung bumagsak ka, ang importante yung bumangon ka. Kasi kung manatili ka, nabagsak, di ka magagamit. Yan ang gusto ng Diablo. Ang Diablo gusto ng panatiliin. Are you listening? Lalo na, mga kapatid, look, makinig kayo maigi. I know God speaking to some of you here tonight. Today, lalo na kung ikaw, pati kayo mga online, you might be a backslidden preacher. You might be, a, you used to preach and you know your Bible and you are a soul winner. Pero makinig kang maigi ngayon, mga kapatid. And you're so discouraged, you know, right now because of all the pain that happened in your life. Hey, get back with God. God's not looking how long have you stayed. He just wants you to get back up. And when He wants you to get back up, you draw nigh to Him and He'll draw nigh to you. Kang manatili na naka-knockdown, get back up. Because the battle is not over. And if you are in the Lord's side, 
you're always on the winning side. See? I do not know what I'm going to face, but here's what I know. Ito pa. Enon na matay si Titus. Kayo mga nandito, meron, ano, bago yan. Titus din ang pangalan. Yun ang original na Titus. Ito, fake. Ah, hindi. Second name niya lang yung Titus and we call him Titus. She had a premature baby, seven months. Premature. May problema sa puso, problema dito sa aneurysm. Paid a lot of money in the hospital, took him out, tried to take care of him. Two months later, God took him. Siyempre, nabalita ulit yan. There's a curse in my life. In 2019, sabi, siniraan ako, parang pinagpiestahan ulit ako, pinagpiestahan, lalo na doon sa ano, sa states. Same person na nagsulat, tumawag sa mga ibang mga pastor. Ah, yeah, that's not my ano. So, lang sabihin sa inyo, God's cursing because now He's paying for all His sins. Naintindihan niyo ba? Apos, alam mo, hindi, I, I do not fight back. Alam mo, lagi kong sinasagot. Well, you know what? I thank God. If this is the chastening of God, I know God loves me because the Bible said, for whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth. Assurance na mahal na mahal ako ng Diyos. Gusto ko bang mag-quit? Nung namatay sa tayo sa ayaw kong merong kumausap sa akin. I stayed right there dun sa sopa namin. Kahit sinong dumating, walang pakialam kahit sinong darating. Okay, ganun lang ako. Hindi ko nga kayo linabasan eh, di ba? Kasi talagang mabigat sa aking puso and I'm communing with God and I'm saying, God, when is this going to stop? I think I've been faithful. Thank you for letting me be faithful, but I need to be strong. You need to help me today. I have to preach tomorrow. Sabado yun. Nung namatay siya na madaling araw. Sa hapon, I went to jog and I talked to God. I jog with God. You know, I keep coming. I came. I said, you know what, Lord? I'm still going to praise you. I'm still going to be faithful. I'm still going to be strong and please give me that strength. I keep claiming I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And I was able to preach to you that morning, both morning and also in the evening. I carried him when we were about to bear him and I kissed him. Malamig na masyado siya, siyempre. Monday na yun. And by the way, he blew up. Payat niya eh. Then he blew up big. Tinignan ko sa Titus ngayon. Kamukhang kamukha niya. Parang binalik lang sa bas healthy na body. So, minsan, tinatanong ko, are you the first Titus? Answer me. Sabi niya, yeah, yeah. Okay, siyempre, hindi man tayo naniniwala sa ganyan, sa reincarnation. I know Titus now is in heaven, pero masakit, mawalan ng loved ones. Ayaw ko nga ang lumalabas eh. Okay, and I took all of those pain. That's okay, you can do it through Christ. You understand? Just keep moving forward. Keep being faithful pandemic might come for such a time as this. Gamitin ka ng Diyos. Kayo mga members na matatagal na dito, sila Melanie na nanonood ngayon, kung saan-saan kami napadpad, palipat-lipat. Di ba? Mga Charlene na nandito, kayo na naabutan, mo, naabutan nyo kami doon sa Upper General Luna tapos sa MCO. Tapos ngayon dito, now we're building that big building. And you know, all those pastors look at that last yesterday and they said, man, this is the largest church building in this city. You understand? Salamat dahil baptis. Yeah, maganda marinig. Pinagpahala ka, pastor. At alam mo, sabi ko, alam mo, bas pinagpahala ako ng Panginoon, In 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, when I was going through a lot of heartache and problems in life, and yet, hindi ako na loko, hindi ako nagbackslide, hindi ako nawalan ng pag-asa, hindi nawala yung pananampalataya ko, lumakas lalo. Yan para lang siguro makita nyo na pinagpala ako pero sa akin noon pinagpapala na ako ng Diyos 
Now listen, don't quit. Don't give up for such a time as this.